Hey, how's it going? Today in this video, we're going to be looking at this $15 bad USB from Amazon. So first, I just want to say, do not plug these devices into any computers that you do not own or that you do not have permission to. And I do not take any responsibility for anything that happens with these devices. So actually, first, let me show you where I got this from. So it is indeed from Amazon. I will put the link in the description. And it's just this $15 high let go bad USB. This bad USB uses the Arduino programming language. It then uses the keyboard library to let the Arduino emulate keystrokes. All right, if you get one of these and want to use this, what you're going to need to do first is go to arduino.com, go to software, and then download um, the Arduino IDE for whatever. Um, machine you're using. I'm using Windows 10, so I downloaded it for Windows 10. Go ahead, run that, install that. Once you have that done, it should look like this. All right, from here, we want to make sure that we select our Arduino Micro. That's the micro Arduino that's inside of this bad USB. And from here, we're going to insert our co code either into here or to here. So cool, now we have our USB open and ready to insert some code into it. So if you know how to program from here, you can just program your own code. Um, but if you have no programming knowledge, you can jump over to ChatGPT and ask it some prompts and it will give you some answers. So here I prompt ChatGPT to give me a hello world, open up notepad. So what I did is I copy and pasted this into my Arduino IDE. We're going to paste it in the void setup because that will only run one time. If we paint it, put, paste it in the loop, it'll run more than one time. Um, so we're going to do that and then we're going to push this button here and we're going to upload it to our bad USB. It's compiling sketch and boom, it is uploaded. So now if we plug this in. Hello world. And then it wants to save it. Sure, we'll save it. But there you have it. A hello world. So there you have it. There's a hello world now from here. With whatever, whatever programming knowledge you have or whatever files you can find on the internet. Um, the sky's the limit what you can do with these kind of devices. So... Just make sure you're not plugging in these USB drives into computers that you own or computers that you do not have permission to. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.